Victor and Moritz's stronghold of evil. This is where we wrong the rights and sweep the past under the rug. Can't we just vacuum it up? Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here. Hello, everyone. This is Roxas1359. Welcome to the not finale of Crash Twin Sanity. Last time, we went through Bandicoot Pursuit, trying to help out Cortex to make sure he didn't get himself killed while running from evil Crash, getting ourselves all the gems around in the area, and getting to the final stage of the game. Now, you might be questioning, what's this vortex right here? It looks like the title screen. Well, if you jump through it, you will end up back at the Iceberg Lab. As a result, this can have you come back and do Rock Slide Rumble. Like I said, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to go back to do Rock Slide Rumble. But let's go back through this way. And let's go into the final stage of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, we're heading into Ant Agony. Get it? I, 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 I'm sure you'll get it. But what is Ant Agony's thing? We have to use the Energon Spheres to activate the machinery. I'm kind of surprised that they were allowed to use Energon. I would have thought that Hasbro would have trademarked that name. Would have trademarked that name, seeing how that's a mainstay in the Transformers universe, but whatever. So, what we're gonna have to deal with are these disappearing platforms that are all around the place, and ants throwing bombs at us, like dicks. Switches to activate more of these disappearing platforms. Which isn't too bad. It's only a pain once you set in the gems. We also have these flying ants, which are easy to take care of. But we need to go and get our gems. These are the last of the gems in the game, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you grab them. First off, we have our green gem on this machinery right back here. Now, what do I think of Ant Agony for our last level? It's definitely a challenging one, but it's not impossible. It's definitely... <laughs> not impossible. So, let's put this Energon Sphere where it needs to go. And open up the doors. I'm gonna wait for you to move over. Then I can go boom! Oh, you didn't die. You were supposed to die! Alright, so more of these barriers that we got to deal with. Uh-oh. We got drillers. That's not good. Stop trying to ram me! There we go. That deals with all them. So, let's open up the way. Seems that they were taking... Those crates they were taking was just for their base. Huh. Seems like kind of a waste. Don't know how they move the, ni the nitro boxes without exploding, but hey. That's pretty much what I take for how they populated their base with all these crates. Because if you remember, when we were in Cavern Catastrophe, the ants were bringing in... Basically, they were taking everything that was on the floor. That includes the boxes. Now, one thing to actually note. This room right here and these little lava corridors have a cut sound of just lava flowing. And I don't know why it was cut. It would have been kind of cool just to put it as an ambient little sound. I'm not going to put it in, obviously, because it's a little bit, uh, it's not necessary. But it's a cool thing, just like that floating box was right there. I mean, uh, floating box. Uh, how about that? Floating box. All right, so we got more of these platforms, which can be kind of annoying, honestly. But there we go. They're easy to get through nonetheless. Until we get to a certain point, which I'm going to end up just basically dying. All right. No. Oh! That was my fault. That's like walking into a parked car, if I do say so myself. Oh, floating box. Yeah, that box is always going to float for some odd reason. I don't know why it does that. Now, this is going to be kind of a short episode, and I mean really short because I want the final boss to be its own part. So if push comes to shove, I may just put this inside of the last episode and you'll get just a beefer. Pretty big beefer. All right, and go over that way, go down here. We're gonna go onto the other side to grab that red gem in a second. I just want this life. 
because I totally don't have enough. Honestly, this really shows how it is for me, how I am at this game, because while it's easy to build up lives, it shows that I'm able to keep quite a bit of them as opposed to crash one. All right, now you need to fly down because if I hit you in the air, you're gonna kill me. Jump down over this way. No, you dick. All right, I'm not gonna deal with you. Not gonna deal with you. Not gonna deal with you. Right, so now we have timed platforms. And yet again, I show I'm terrible at timing. So the pattern it goes in is red, green, blue, yellow. Green to our blue gem. Whoa. Ooh. And I died. Man, I am dying way too many times. Why am I? I'm hesitating. I'm hesitating for some odd reason. I don't know why. Right? Let's go through. All right, so we're gonna have to be dealing with those platforms a lot within this stage, so get used to them. And ooh, look at all the ants. Die, 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 die. I want this Uka Uka mask. Not Uka Uka, Aku Aku. All right, so that takes care of them. So hit the switch and it activates these platforms. So go across them and nope, nothing on this side. So don't hit those because we need to get our sphere to the other side, our Energon sphere. Oh, that's, all right, that didn't fall. Whew, that was close. All right, so let's go through and boom. Not bad. Now let's get back some of those lives I lost. So, 46. And at this point, we are now halfway through the final level of the game, ladies and gentlemen. There's no way that this is gonna be as long as Classroom Chaos. I know that for a fact, because I'm doing way too well on this stage right now. And watch as it suddenly goes downhill really fast. There we go. I got his cross right there. Oh, more timing platforms. Here's our here's our blocker. I love the sound rhythm that these platforms go on. But there we go. That deals with that. Now we got to deal with flying ants again. Ow! Dick. Fine. Have it your way. I won't deal with you. Oh, wow. He got both hits on me. That... Touche, Mr. Ant. Touche. But it does not matter. I have 45 lives. He only lived once. Ha! Ah, that's hilarious. And adorable. But let's go through and this time actually live. The ant that lived! Okay, I barely made that. I don't remember that jump being so tight. Ah, guess not. Not going for it, not worth it. All right, going through. At least those little laser beams aren't instant death. That, I'd hate it if those were instant death. But what is annoying is what we're gonna be dealing with right over here. Lots and lots of these platforms. All right. There we go. That's one. Oh, I fell. And every time I fall, I need to reset it. Whoa. Yeesh. I stand corrected. Maybe this will take its own part because of how I'm playing. Now let's go with the middle first. What's the order that that goes in? All right, from the middle, we will go this way, so. Okay, maybe we won't. I know my order that I'm gonna go. Okay, I was about to say, if you kill me. All right. So what we'll do is we will go this way, so. One, 
two, three, four. Now we will go this way, so one, two, three. Okay, I touched him and he I got killed. Okay, touch damage. Touch touch damage is a thing. Okay, I think the order I'm supposed to go in is like counterclockwise. Which would actually make sense, which is why I've been making this harder than it needs to be. Two, three, four. Great. Two, three, four. It is counterclockwise, huh? I didn't, how did I not n ever notice that? Right. Now, how do I get into the middle? No! Cutting until I do this right. to get one more 60% of the time every time in before the project was over. Ah, works all the time, 60% of the time. Anyway, what we need to do is we need to take this right here if it wants to move. Okay, there we go. I was wondering why I didn't want to move. What we're going to do is we're going to launch this thing if the camera wants to obey. No! That was my fault. What we need to do is we need to launch one of the bombs over down there so we can blow up the crate. All right, uh, we're getting a glitch here. There we go. There we go, that fixed it. Then what we need to do is we need to spin this right there and Get ourselves the yellow gem. Last yellow gem of the game. So, how many do we have left? We only need two more gems, and we have every gem in Crash Twin Sanity. Oh boy, I love it when we're almost done with collecting things. It's always great. The even better part is the last two gems uh, aren't as bad, really. As opposed to, say, Crash 1 with Cortex Power and Fumbling in the Dark. But, let's grab that Uku Aku Aku mask. I always did that as a child, too. I always called Uka Uka and Aku Aku by their opposite names. Like some really big idiot. So, what we need to do right now is we need to kill a bunch of the ants. Because they are blocking a switch. Luckily, they will come towards us. Now, you don't need to kill all of them because uh, sometimes the ants will glitch out on this platform. So, there was a failsafe that was put in where after a while uh, the switch will end up doing end up uh, becoming active for people. Right, so let us do that. Maybe active? No, not yet. Maybe this is the last one. Not yet. Okay, that's one. Come on. Where are all the ants? Okay, there we go. The switch is active. Now I can kill the remaining ants, grab myself. I don't need a triple. I don't need a triple one. What I do need is to hit the switch. And there you go. So now we can move on. So shall we? I hope that uh, the 60 frames per second makes those platforms visible because one thing I've noticed in a lot of LPs of Twin Sanity is that these platforms end up flickering out of existence as opposed to, say, you know, 
just normally disappearing. And as a result, due to it being 60 frames for a 60 frame per second game, it's similar to how uh, it's similar to how you know old Sonic games ended up handling it, in which the 60 frames per second is necessary in order to see things such as shields. Right there we go. And what we need to do is now we're going to get ourselves the last clear gem of the game. So hit that platform out so we can come up over this way. And here's our last clear gem. So the last gem of the game we're going to be getting is going to be the purple gem, which is inside this room in itself. Looks like I might be making this its own part as well because, you know, I kind of, I did kind of screw up. Although I did sort of jinx it on purpose because I... I don't like making too short of episodes, even for finales, but uh, that's kind of what I'm doing for the Crash series, so. Oh well. Right, and you disappeared. Right, one, two, three. Now, I don't know if those platforms will come back. Okay, they do come back. I never paid attention to if they came back or not. All right. Let's go across. Follow this thing. All right. Ah, oh, great. We got bomb throwers. Stop that. There we go. That deals with them and just more explosions. And... All right, Roxas, remember it goes red, green, blue, yellow. Not red, blue. Roxas. It's like you've never played this level before, despite the fact that you clearly did a practice foul on this and beat this level and got 100%. Uh, oh, well. So, let's get to the end. I'm just going to ignore that life. Now, you can't actually jump to right there, but it's very tight and not really necessary. Although, if I could skip this, it would be nice. Right. And there's the last purple gem. Oh, I ran into fire. Roxas ran into fire. Oh, that was close. Now, I've died way too many times in this stage, but at this point, I kind of am in my mood of don't care, end of the game, woot! You know, the woot type. All right, and there we go. He kind of didn't do anything. So bad. But... Let's hit this out. And go across to grab ourselves our last gem of the game. So, jump up here. And here it is, folks. The last gem, the purple gem. We now have all gems within the game on Insanity Isle, Jungle Bungle, Cavern Catastrophe, Totem Hokum, Iceberg Lab, Ice Climb, Slip Slide Ice Capades, High Sea Hijinks, Academy of Evil, Boiler Room Doom, Classroom Chaos, Rooftop Rampage, Ant Agony, Bandicoot Pursuit, Rock Slide Rumble, and Twin Sanity Island. There we go. We have unlocked every single one of the concept arts and unlockables that are available to us. Not all of them that exist, which is why I totally celebrated by killing myself. Wouldn't you celebrate by killing yourself? No? Well, that's because you're a smart and sensible person. Not like this Roxas person here. Oh, no. No, that is... This Roxas person here has a death wish. Which is why he's platforming on fun little platforms. Right? So let's keep going across, as this is the end of Ant Agony. And once we get past this, we will actually be done with the game's main levels. I still can't believe how fast it's going. Right? I love the music too. I haven't commented enough this episode about the music, but the music for this stage in particular is really good for the stage. And there we go. That's the last of the main platforming challenges. 
And I like to assume that Victor and Mort grabbed a crystal on their own. So let us put that in there to open the door. And, oh, whoops, I'm one door ahead of where I'm thinking of. I always forget about one door, this room in particular, for some odd reason. So, this is the last main room of the game. I got hit there, but I didn't really have the rocket mask. I will gladly take that. Can I do that during the final boss? That'd be great. But, oh well. So, let's get our Energon Spheres. And... There we go. Slide them across. That's one of them. Now we're going to need to get rid of all these, so... Boom. Boom. And he's probably just wondering, what the hell is going on here? Alright, so let's get this sphere to where it needs to go. And there we go. That deals with that. So, put that Energon Sphere in there. And now we're done with Ant Agony. Because now it's just going to be a straight hallway. But first, there's something else we forgot. Oh my. I almost forgot. The treasure. Our treasure. Yes. We are rich. That treasure is stolen property. It's a little late to develop a conscience, Doctor. Personally, I don't care. But I think he might want his gems back. <laughs> hmm. I love that so much. And ladies and gentlemen, that was a reference to Spyro a Hero's Tale, seeing as these are all his gems. Now, there's one thing I need to talk about before we end up ending up the part and getting to the final boss. And that is actually another cut character from the game. The character known as Entrance from the Game Boy Advance Crash Bandicoot game, Crash Bandicoot 2 Entrance, was originally supposed to appear inside this game. However, when he got to the 10th dimension, he was supposed to have his head eaten by evil Crash, according to fake Nina in interviews. He was scrapped early on because it was deemed a little bit too gross for that. And, I mean, for those of you who don't know what Entrance looked like, I'll put a picture of him on screen right now. He's like an egg, so they were trying to make a hard-boiled egg joke, but I agree with fake Nina, that would have been a little bit too gross. But, let's get to the end, shall we? So it's just a straight hallway, and then we're at the final boss. Here's the last checkpoint of the game. And, go over right here. There's going to be one last autosave box as well. So, keep going. I wonder what these little orbs are for. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, as the door loads. Nice. So, here's the last crate. But, anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. Next time, we're going to be tackling Victor and Moritz and finishing up Crash Twin Sanity. See you guys next time.